There's no wonder they call Yorkshire God's own county. It's got something for everybody. These big skies and gritty Pennine landscapes that I love. The seaside up near Whitby where I go on my holidays. And even the rolling walls. As well as the more industrial landscapes that I know because I was born and brought up there. Yorkshire's got beauty in every one of its four corners. On My Yorkshire this week, we're invited to a wedding by the father of the bride, Sikh storyteller Roop Singh. I'm at the Gurdwara on Chapel Town Road in Leeds. Today's a special day for Roop Singh and his family because it's his only daughter's wedding and he's kindly invited us along. This is where Roop's daughter's wedding will take place, home to a warm and vibrant Sikh community. It's your probably best seen on a day like this when the groom and his family from Coventry are made to feel well and truly welcome. As soon as a, a child is born, especially daughters, when they're born, right from that moment, parents have got to think, wow, there's going to be a day when I'm going to have to marry her off. You know, it's just mm. a cultural thing. Mm. And uh, it's a big responsibility. And you know, you want the best for, the, for your daughters. Yeah. You know, find a perfect partner. Yeah. I've, I've done it slightly different. Um, I've given her lots of choices, lots of, you know, lots of freedom. Uh, whereas in, in our in our days when we got married, you, you just didn't have that choice. How do you do it then? Do you do it through albums of photographs? No, 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 no. You see, like like today, there's, there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of young people milling, you know. Right. And uh, hey, you see that guy there? He's still single. He's, he's looking. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it's a community that you talk to each other. Oh, so-and-so's looking for a wife. So-and-so's looking for a husband what age are they, what profession, you know, yeah. you look at all the sort of similarities and then, then kids will talk themselves and they say, oh, I think those, those two will make a, a good match. You know, yeah. when it, public opinion counts for a lot. And, it, and, and in, this, in this wedding, you know, we've asked for public opinion. What do you think to that lad? What do you think to, you know, to this marriage? Oh, yeah, he's a good lad. He's, you know, yeah. he's, so it makes it easier. There is a real community feel to what happens in this good while. This is a normal Sunday morning. This is a normal community. Um, atmosphere when when we have bigger occasions that's when it really you know sort yeah. of kicks in and everybody comes out of the woodwork everybody comes together you know and just just you know, just you know gels together and, and dives in and, and makes it work it's yeah. fantastic it is a privilege I think I always say it's a privilege to be a Sikh yeah. and to be a part of a community yeah. that has such a fantastic setup Roop spends a lot of time in schools telling stories that were told to him as a boy, aiming to pass on a better understanding of Sikh religion and culture to the next generation. That was beautiful, that was fantastic, really good. I always like to listen to children singing, it gets me into a really good mood, and then I can tell a nice story. I'm going to tell you a story, it's something to do with the world this morning, and it's a story that my mum told me when I was a very, very young child. And you know, when I go into schools, I meet lots of people, lots of children. And I went into this one particular school a while ago, and I had the children sat in front of me, just like you. And as I came in, Everybody sat there on their bottoms, nice and quiet, nice and still. And then just as I was about to speak, I saw one little boy nudge his friend next to him like this. And then he whispered in his ear, he said, Wow. He said, Look at his beard. <laughs> Put your hand up if you notice my beard. All right. Brought up in a traditional Sikh family in Leeds, Roop's faith was put to the test many times through his formative years. I went through my school life being picked on, being bullied, being teased, being taunted, you know, for wearing the turban, something slightly different. 
and uh, it wasn't easy. Yeah. You know, you know. Let it be known, it was not easy at school. It was a hard time. You know, and I came home crying so many times. I said, "Mum, I don't want to wear the turban." Yeah. Mum came from a sort of fairly strong Sikh background and told me basically in no uncertain terms that you take your turban off and you don't come back to this house. Yeah. Now I don't know if she was bluffing or whether she meant it, but it was enough to frighten me off. And then when your children start to get bullied, that's like that's like a final straw in a way. Tell us what you did about it. Well, basically, I, 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 it'll have to go back a little bit because yeah. it's like when I came home, says Mum, can you go into school and talk about the Sikhs? Now Mum came from India from the Punjab, um, couldn't speak fluent English, enough to go to the shop and buy provisions and that sort of thing. Some years later, my daughter comes back to me and says to me, Dad, they're picking on me, bullying me, similar to what I said to my mum, will you go in and, into the school and talk about it? My mum couldn't do that for me, but I could do it for my daughter. So I went into the school and I did the assembly and I took a turban in and I showed the kids how to tie the turban and I explained what it was. And you know, after that day, there was no more bullying. You know, the girl that was actually picking on her became her best friend. And you know, I soon realised that the way forward has got to be through education. Mr Singh was carrying with him his special little kirpan. He carried it wherever he went. It wasn't a knife or a dagger, it was his holy sword. The holy sword reminded Mr. Singh of five very important words. Truth, freedom, justice, honour, protection. We Just on this theme of, of Sikhism, I mean, there was a time when you rejected it a little bit, wasn't there? There was a stage in my life where I, I did have a little dip, but then I came back. Yeah. And, you know, it made things made things good. But is it true to say that your faith in Sikhism was restored when you, you, you all the trouble at the te Golden Temple in Amritsar was going on? The temple. Golden Temple, 1984. Yeah. Yeah, yes. I remember it like yesterday. I mean, I don't think there's any Sikh in the world that wasn't touched by that, you know, that yeah. happening, that episode in the, in the in the history of the Golden Temple. Um, it touched our heart. It touched our souls. The Golden Temple is really our heart place, yeah. and um, yeah, it did have a significant effect on me uh, as a Sikh. Yeah. And um, although I was just on the peripheries of, of understanding my religion, what I wanted to know now was what is this Golden Temple? What's the history about it? What's yeah. the teachings behind it? Who are the gurus? You know, when I found yeah. out more and more, it, it was just fantastic. Yeah. It's like another, you know, so another complete another world. <laughs> We're, we're what we call the Sikh Saint Warriors. Yeah. The Sikh Warriors. You know, when you look at a Sikh, you look at everything. And, and it is such a powerful, overwhelming appearance that we have, especially the men. Yeah. And, and people look at it and they get frightened. Yeah. You know, they say, wow. You know. But behind this, you know, this, 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 this garb that we wear and is, a, is, a, is a saint. There has to be a saint behind it as well. Yeah. And that guy shows his, he's got a saint inside. We all have, you know, we've got the saint yeah. side and we've got the warrior side. And, um, you know, on, on the horse, horse is, is a, another one of those Sikh animals yeah. that uh, we, lo we love horses. <laughs> I was a proud man. I was a proud dad. Yeah. And they talk about, you know, daughters and fathers. And I didn't really know what that, that sort of bonding was until, you know, I had to give it away. Yeah. You know, and that was, I had a lump in my throat and a tear in my eye. Yeah. But I says, it's time to move on. <laughs> the read verses from the Guru Granth Sahib, which are the four wedding verses, right? So what we'd call the you know, the Ghani, the head priest, will read out the verse and then the Ragis, the musicians, will sing the verse, will put music to the verse and then the couple will stand up, do their you know, normal bow in front of the Guru Granth Sahib and then they'll walk around the Guru Granth Sahib and that happens four times and basically what it means is like we're putting the Guru Granth Sahib, the, the holy scriptures, the teachings, in making them the center of our life. So each time they, they read the verse out, and then they walk around and then they sit down and then he'll read another verse out and it goes on and then when the four verses have been completed then basically the marriage ceremony has been performed. 
And then what happens in sentencing this other little verse? And now that was the one that really touched me, and I had tears. I had tears. It was, it was nice. But it was tears of joy. Yes. That's what it was. It was tears of joy. Yeah. Do you think that Yorkshire might have helped you to, to find your calling in life? People used to say to me, you've got a Yorkshire accent. You've got a story. And I thought, I went to elocution lessons. Huh? <laughs> Would you believe it? Just to get rid of that Yorkshire accent. I really... <laughs> But then I thought to myself, no, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You know, let's let's go back to who you are. You know, yeah. I've got a Yorkshire accent. There's no nothing wrong with it. I'm yeah. in fact I'm quite proud of it now. Yeah. And in fact, on one of my leaflets it says, Roop Singh looks Indian, dresses Indian, talks Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I, I have no problems with Yorkshire. I'm love I love it. I love it. Yorkshire's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs>